I'm hearing you correctly. You're, you're, you're telling me that I keep you up at night? Well, you were on my mind. What was I wearing? Not like that. I was thinking about your smile. Oh, it's only fair. I do think about your smile, too. And how sad it seems sometimes. Okay, well, this took a decidedly non-sexy turn. Not all the time, just... Just after. After what? What's before? When James comes over for his writing lesson, or when you're, you're up at the house and... Leo and Wiley are grilling you about something. I even noticed that tonight at Willow's party. You are all smiles until there's a breather. And then it goes away. Not all the way, but in your eyes. You seem intent. Lonely. But, and I can't figure out why. But, the kids adore you. That the, the grown-ups have come to really respect you. <laughs> All right, I mean, that, that, that's a bit of a stretch. They trust you with their children. Even Tracy seems to rely on you. Yeah, when it comes to a horse. I think it's because you are surrounded by families, but you don't have one. Except, of course, the one you you do actually belong to who don't know that you're one of them. It's, uh, it's true. A big part of me wants to just come clean. But what's stopping you? Well, for one, Max's still out of town. And I really, I don't know how I admit to him. I mean, I admit to his whole family. Your whole family. That I lied to them in the first place. And it wasn't for some noble cause. I lied to protect myself from getting arrested and prosecuted because I tried to defraud someone. Okay, worst case scenario, Mac and the rest are disappointed, angry even. How long do you think that'll last? I don't, I don't really want to find out. I guess that's, that's why, yeah, I mean, I kind of miss him, but a big part of me is relieved that Mac's still gone, because as long as he's away, I don't have to decide, yes, I know, that makes me a coward. All right. Or please, please, give me more options, because I really don't want coward to be <laughs> the only explanation. I think that sometimes we get comfortable in our own discomfort. Living without the thing that's missing, even though it's what we really need. So what do we do? How do we move forward? Well, if what we were doing isn't working, Try something new. I need you to ask Jason to leave Danny alone. To find alone. Keep his distance. Stay away. Okay, all right. But let's say I could get Jason to keep his distance. Why would you do that to Danny? Because I have to. See, I don't know Danny very well, but I have talked to him about Jason. Yes. And he, he adores him. He's just like him, Sam. Yeah, I know, Carly, and that is the problem. But Danny doesn't have any idea how dangerous Jason's life is. Danny just thinks that his father is smart and cool, and that he gets him. Is that such a bad thing? Not many sons have fathers who understand them. Danny wants to be just like Jason, and that is the worst possible thing that can happen to him. How can I save him? I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that 